river run, run through the hills, run river run to the sea, run river run to your place beneath the sun, run river run over me, run through the land, you run through my soul. This is Jan Lewis. Welcome to be my guest. Today we have from right here in Upton one of our best kept secrets. Strong Eagle. He is a Native American flute maker and player. Welcome, Strong Eagle. Thank you for having me. And uh, I, I feel kind of funny because I've lived here for quite a while in this whole area and I have never had the privilege of meeting him. He makes the most beautiful flutes. I have a DVD of his playing, which if I have surgery, I'm going to be listening to this. Um, it's very calming. Where do you want to start? Beginning's good. Go ahead. You do your <laughs> sounds great. He's so talented. Go ahead. I, uh, I've been doing uh, Native American flute uh, playing and making for about 20 years now. 20. I started out in um, I started out actually in California where I lived, and uh, I went to a powwow out there, and uh, I enjoyed the music that was out there, the, like the drum beats, the uh, the uh, regalias that uh, yeah. a lot of people were, were uh, dancing in. But the interesting thing is when I heard this music mm. that was, it was the flute? something, it was, it was a flute yeah. I never heard before. Yeah. So that's what kind of made me go over to this booth where this gentleman made these beautiful instruments. And they were all out of cedar, western uh, red aromatic cedar. And when he played it, it was it just sung rings around me. Yeah. It was just so beautiful, so haunting. Haunting. So yes. Yeah, I love that. What tribe was he from? Uh, he was Blackfoot. Same as my yes. son's father. And you are Nipmuc. I am Nipmuc. I'm from this area. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I asked I asked him a, a couple of questions, and he I noticed that he had different flutes, different mm. sizes, some small ones, some medium size, and of course he had a very large uh, one made out of cedar. That was mm. all he, he made them out of. And he carved, he carved, you, what do you see these? But <coughs> Strong Eagle, he carves, does, did this guy carve designs too? No. They were His, plain. They were very, very simple, yet it was the sound that got me. That got you. It wasn't the cosmetics of it, yeah. but the sound just reverberated with me. I mean, just and then what happened? Did you just say, this is it, I have to do this? Um, I went, uh, after I, I worked, used to work for an aerospace industry, uh, and I just one day said, you know what, I'm going to find out what I'm supposed to do with my life. Yeah. And I moved to Arizona. Mm -hmm. And in Arizona, I met uh, a gentleman by the name of uh, Grandfather Hollis Little Creek. And he taught me how to make flutes. Because um, I said, I want to learn how to make them. And uh, so we said, come back in the morning. And so I said, okay. Mm -hmm. And so I come back in the morning. And he was there on the, he always had a smile on his face. Always had a smile. And that, that was, that made me yeah. curious too. And he said, uh, so, uh, can I make a flute? And he looked at me and he said, no, I don't know. Can you make a flute? I said, well, let me rephrase the question. Yeah. Can you teach me how to make a flute? He says, yeah. So he goes into the house and comes back out with these two sticks. Yeah. They were just regular sticks. And he had a mallet and he had a chisel. And he sat down and he drew these lines on the, he said, I want you to chisel this out. Don't go down too far. And then you chisel the other half out. Mm -hmm. So there were two halves. And he said, when you're done with those, come back. So I stayed up all night because I was yeah. just so excited. Because all night. Oh, yeah. This to, was 20 years do. ago? Yeah, this is 20 <clears throat> years ago. It's 1992. And um, uh, I came back. I was all excited because I, I wanted to know what the next step was. So he comes back out. And he, he says, OK, we're going to go to the next step. He said, we're going to put the two together. I said, well, how come you had me do two of them? Am I doing two flutes? He says, no. What you did was you took the heart of the tree out by chiseling out mm. uh, the uh, the wood. And then the, you, since you're the maker of the flute, you're inserting your heart into the flute. Wow. And you take two halves and you put them together. Yeah. That's what's what makes it round. So um, he showed me, we glued it all up. And he showed me how to burn the holes in there the old-fashioned way yeah. with a poker. 
and you burn the holes. And I said, well, how do you know how to place the holes? Yeah. He says, well, I looked at your arm, and I measured from your, uh, the elbow to the tip of the finger. Yeah. That's how long the flute was going to be. Yeah. And I said, when I took you, you know, had you put your hand on the flute, that was where the first hole was going to be. And then each finger is where, how wide the next hole was so going to be. So it's very be. customized. Yeah, it was. it was. And that was it. That was history for you. And then, that, and then I just started. Because I never had a, a, I never wanted to play. Hmm. I just wanted to make them. That's all I wanted to do. I liked the oh. mechanics of it. Oh. I, it the sound of it. You the, loved uh, yes, the Yes, I wanted to copy the sound. The sound. So the sound has a vibration of its own. And it just transport people to different things. Yeah. So uh, after a while, I I I got pretty decent. Mm. But when I first learned how to play them, that was kind of like uh, an interesting story in itself. Yeah. Uh, but I learned how to make them. I talked to different other artists mm. who were making them, and um, I started to craft them. Let's better, take a look at better. some. Oh. This, let, which show us which one you would want to show us first? This is pretty amazing. Oh, they're, they're all. I love this one. With what kind of bird is that? Or? This is a goldfinch. Paul, can you use a zero and, on and, this? And this is a, a, a slippy. Which way do you want me? Wait, to? He'll show you how to hold it up. Yeah. And so you do everything. You paint it. You design it. The it, works. It starts out with a square block of wood. I. Um, Carve the not carve. I draw the bird on there. Yeah. Let's see that bird a little bit, Paul. Can you? I want to get that bird in right perfectly. Here we are. That's a look at that. Perfect on a flute. On a flute. Can you give us a sound from? Sure. That? This one is very. I, see, I, I picture myself walking in the woods. Yes. That's where I actually learned how to play. By walking in the woods? Uh, walking in the woods because uh, Grandfather Hollis would say, because um, uh, after I think it was two years, I lived in Sedona, and I, I heard a performance by uh, Jesse Kalu out there. He was the resident um, uh, flute, very famous flute maker, mm. but he made it out of cane. So wow. it, was, it was totally different in mine. So what I did is I went to him and I said, you know, I really, really like to learn how to play. Mm. You know, he says, well, that's easy. Go out into the woods. And just walk. And so I was right. Just walk to... or he had me sit on a, uh, find a place that you're comfortable yeah. and just sit out there and just start to play. Get familiar with the flute. You know, don't try to play the flute as much as you want it to play mm. you. Right, and so I did. So yeah, I said, "Well, how do you know if I'm going to get if I'm getting better?" Yeah. He said, "It's the amount of animals that come around." Did they? Uh, well, not really. Not really. <laughs> but that was a good way to put it. <laughs> well, well, yes, it was good because the, you know I think I did it for two months, and then uh, my first audience was a squirrel. And he sat there. And he sat there, and he and I, he, and I said, oh, "Wow, my first audience! I must yeah. be doing something right." Yeah. So I started to play. Yeah. And he took off. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good thing there weren't snakes and bears yeah, coming. Yeah. Oh you? well, yeah. Show wait, now. Where's the? Is this the? Which? What is this? This is what? That is a uh, ammonite uh, shell, and what I did is, is I just traced, traced it, and then I cut it out on the inside. Mm -hmm. It's and a then shell. I inserted it, and then I sealed it. This is a shell. Yep. Ammonite. Ammonite. Let's see if we can. Uh, we get a little bit of shines. And the wood is koa. Yeah. And um, Coco Bolo. Does this sound the same as the other flutes? It's a little, everybody has their, just like you and I have our own different voices, mm. they, these have our. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> well, I I did that by accident one day, and I didn't know it was a, a, a technique. Yeah. And my finger was getting a little. I was holding the flute so tight, yeah. it was starting to shake. And then so, that's how you did it. And then I said, oh. But that's I, professional, though. I, well, I, well, I blew into the flute, and 
my finger was going because it was yeah. it was so nervous. And I like I, that sound. It created a flutter. Then I found that it was a technique called fluttering. So I'll um, show you. Oh. Then you work the tongue. Love it. I picture myself walking around the pala. Also, those of us who have had a massage, that's what they play in the background. I've played for a couple of people. That and the yoga yeah. uh, classes. Look at this. Now, this this is boy Paul. You got to get this. This is <laughs> amazing. What kind is this one? This is a low G flute. Okay, uh, we're getting it right in the camera here. And this is one piece, uh, two pieces. I'm sorry, and. I did like a, a little appendage on on the side, kind of like a symbol, mm. uh, like a branch on a tree. And this is, you know, each flute, if you go up in size by the diameter of the hole, mm -hmm. becomes a lot deeper if it's, it, and when it gets longer. I love the owl. He's engraved so, and painted the owl. So, yeah. The, yep, I do wood burning. And I have, a, I brought a couple of other uh, pieces, but this sounds has its own. Go for it, yeah. But play, play us a song. I'll try. Does it have a name, the song? Uh, no. No. You just said play a song. So I just played a song. Now, <laughs> on your DVD, yep. some of them, they're named, I've seen. Some of them are named because I, I just had inspiration and, and that's what was the right thing to, to name them. Yeah. But when I play out, it's interesting because sometimes I play improvisational. Yeah. And I use, instead of a, uh, when I have accompaniment, sometimes I'll use the sound of an ocean or I'll use the piano or a guitar and and see where it takes me yeah. and then I let the people in the audience name the song oh you let them name it yeah because I don't know where they're at oh I like that you know, yeah, so that's cool. they, they get a chance to be part of the creative process this we have just got this is we have a jewel in the crown here in Upton this is strong <laughs> eagle and he is a Native American Nipmuc tribe and he makes his own flutes and you know, he plays them too these are intricately designed. They are absolutely beautiful. Where do you appear a lot? Uh, Whenever I'm called is where I go. I've played uh, in churches, uh, social gatherings. Uh, I just started doing this senior c citizen uh, uh, route. Uh, so I've been playing in a lot of senior centers. Um, I've also played at the New Jersey Center for Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. I play for three bishops now. Wow. So they, I, I enjoyed doing that. I think the biggest crowd that I ever had was 2,500. You can't Something be shy. Like, no, I, no, it wasn't, but it was, it was, um, it was an experience. I was so yeah. excited. I, I, I was hoping that everything came out correctly. Do you ever get shaky? Uh, no, I don't think it's shaky as much as it is um, emptying myself. Yeah. You know, because if you let that come in, uh, there's 18 inches between the head and the heart. I never and, imagined. It's pretty and, cool. Uh, <laughs> okay. And and you know the process that takes place from here to here is very interesting because I play from the heart. Yeah. So I what I do when I begin to play, I empty everything, all emotions, structure, breath, finger placement, the crowd, and then I do the same thing with the flute. Mm. And once I do that, now the flute can flow. And it can create, I can create an experience with the flute and let the flute experience 
what I'm experiencing and vice versa. And it just comes out, your feelings then, are actually coming out. Right. You know, I would think hospitals, <clears throat> Dana-Farb or places like this, I would think in the lobby, this would be, I'd love to walk in myself and have this playing. I go to UMass and I have, they've had musicians playing in the lobby off and on. This is perfect. It's I've, calming. Yep. It is. Have you done that at all? I've done it <laughs> at UMass. You have? Yeah, I've done it. In the, uh, when you walk in the, the main entrance? The big atrium you're talking about? Yeah, you walk in there, it's the, um, I don't know, the Benedict Building is beside it, but it's a, the big one with the doors that go like this, and then the, all the, hu the huge um, reception area, and then there's a cafe. Yeah, um, the, the one that was on Lake Ave, you're talking about? Yeah, that's yeah, the other that, side. They, that's have a, they usually have a, um, uh, what do I say? Um, they have native people come in and sell their wares, and they also have put on shows for other mm -hmm. artists as well. Mm -hmm. And I happen to be one that I was invited to to play there. What did I miss? So, um, uh, I <laughs> I that's my second home over there. I mean, I'm a volunteer and went on a council there. I'm like, you were actually there. You sometimes they just let people play in the lobby if they're signed. Oh well, I I've, uh, I'm open to anything. You I know, think that's awesome so. because when you walk in and you hear that. I, it affects me that way. Very, whew. Yeah. That's the feeling. It's like, ah. Oh. It you know it's it's allowing yourself to be, is yeah. what it is. It's giving yourself permission to be at ease. There's no schedules. There is no appointments that you have to be. It's just allowing yourself to be in the moment. Exactly. You know the past doesn't exist. The future doesn't exist. It's just right there. Is for you. That's exactly what it feels like if, when I've heard it. Well, let's just say for a massage or something like that. Mm -hmm. Blank. It's just there, and I'm hearing it. And yeah, I'm, I admi I'd like to think of myself in the woods or in a powwow or something like on the outskirts of it. Walking as a child, I was always playing in the woods. Oh, okay. I'm building forts in the trees, <laughs> that type of thing. So that scene reminds me a lot of that. Show us the eagle that you made. That oh. is. That, how long did it take you to make that? About six months. <laughs> you hold it up by like sure. Um Now uh, it's made out of what? On the, the eagle? This, this is made out of tupelo, and it's made out of three pieces. The wings are separate, and I had to attach them. There you go. Yeah. yeah. There he is. And then the you had to attach the wings? Yes. Uh, this is all one piece. The feathers, uh, the, the tail feathers, and from the beak back, and then I carved the wings separately because it, it requires a lot more detail. And in the wood burning, I had to use a, mic, uh, a magnifying glass so I can get all of the uh, feathers worked in there. And then on the bottom, that comes off the bottom piece. Yeah, the stand. This goes on the flute, actually. That does. Yep. Oh, the oh the eagle yes. does, like the birds. Yes. Okay, the birds. Okay. And then I did the inside. Now the inside is always lighter because the sun doesn't the sun doesn't hit it. It's lighter. See, it's lighter on the mm -hmm. inside. These are what is uh, exposed to the sun, so these are more darker. Okay. So, is he a bald eagle? This is a golden eagle. Okay, I don't see the white. No. Okay. Right, golden eagle is usually found in the in the uh, southwest. Uh huh. And very very rare that they ever come up this way. But um, bald eagle is is more uh, at home here. I've got a question to you about the flutes. Now I've been to I'm, part, I'm very part Scottish in my family, and uh, I know at the <clears throat> the Scottish festival they have every year down in Northampton, you hear flutists in the woods. They place them in the woods. Is that are they using the same type of flutes that you use? If you notice, you're doing this on the side. Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's a traditional steel. Uh, flute okay. that plays from the side. Okay. So uh, it has a Celtic sound when they play. right. They they some play some even have a rim that's on the end that uh, um, it's not like this. <clears throat> it has a little rim on there and a little U shape, and they have the fingers here, and then you have the Irish penny whistles. Yeah. So and those are uh, are somewhat of a challenge to play because I'm so used to playing yeah, these. these, but they use a lot of fingers that go across the the um, the notes when they want to drag a note yeah. out. Yeah. 
Yeah, I so. heard that. Mm. Is that more Celtic? No, that's anything, right? It, it can be anything. I'm learning how to play um, uh, Danny Boy on, on the really. On the, on the flu. Yes, yeah, somebody asked me, "Can you play that?" And I'm, you know, so there's a lot of. I'm trying to come up with, you know, always renew everything. Not playing the same. Yeah. And then what I'll do? I'm playing um, Knights in White Satin. Oh, so I remember that, that one. Yeah. Oh, that was one of my favorite. They were way beyond their time. Oh, they were the really blues. They were strong eagle. How can people get a hold of you who might like you have you come play? Uh, I, I can be reached on my uh, email at uh, strong eagle the number three at yahoo.com Is there anywhere where you wouldn't want to play? If people want you, I mean, I would uh, think I don't play in bars. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't blame you. Uh, after a while, you probably your audience doesn't even remember you're there. <laughs> no, no, probably not. No. And, and and I played at a um, an, when people are eating. And yeah. it just doesn't. Yeah. You know, it, my my music is very contemplative. Mm. You know, it's self reflective. You know? I would think you're shopping in a store. I mean, you know, as a woman, I love you. Just to me, it's like, oh, go over to a thrift shop and just stand there and just play for us. <laughs> I'll be there for more hours. Well, I've done that. I've, you have. Sometimes I've walked to through a market and the babies would be crying, and I just happened to would have a flute. Yeah. So I'd walk out to the car and I would come back and. See if I can find the great. There was no mistaking that he was still crying. What did the mother think? The mo you... mother thought, uh, "What are you doing?" I said, "Oh, I'm, I'm a flute player, but I noticed your your child is um, yeah. a little unsettled." And it worked. So yeah, I just sat and kneeled down, and I started to play, and it, the, the baby's first like, "Wow, what's this?" Yeah. He became very curious. And he started to touch the flute, and I showed him the flute, and I let him touch it, and of course the mother got a little, oh, he's going to drop it, and I said, it's only wood. Yeah. It's only wood. You gotta I, learn. This is amazing. I can see this in hospice. Yes, I played for the VNA as well. Yeah, I can see it there. I mean, there's so many places where this will help. Even, believe it, at the dentist. Okay, I'm open to that. I have a I, I have a dentist who might think that's pretty cool. Now he's from Lebanon, and he's got the accent. I think one of his helpers. I don't know if she's Egyptian, but he's pretty. I would think he have to mention it. Like, how would you like to calm the patients? That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot different. Yeah, they're over. They're over in Worcester. That's a great idea. There's so many good ideas. There's so many senior citizens or cent uh, centers around here. I would think you'd be flooded with calls. Oh uh, well. We get you out there. Uh, well, I'll, I'm getting out there. How long have you lived here in Upton? I've been here since November of 2013. Where'd you come in from? I came in from Worcester. Oh, okay. So that so, wasn't a far. That wasn't no, too far. No, that was just a hop. It was across the pond. Yeah. Were you born and raised in Worcester? I was born and raised. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, that building. That that whole place is built up a lot. The old buildings are still there, but it's. Yeah, They're trying to bring in. It's a lot different than what I remember it. You know, I was born in 1950, so, you know, growing up, you know, through the 50s and, and some of the 60s. Yeah. And that was a very tumultuous uh, uh, time in, in, in our history. Do you ever play during the um, Arts on the Street? They have it once a year. All these artists and crafters. I did that once. Uh, I also played at Elm Park. Sometimes yes. I'll, I have my little machine here. What is that? This is um, when I want... Uh, it looks like a portable radio or, or no, and, well, Geiger some, counter. If I, if I can what are you missing? Uh, I'm missing... I was just sitting here with... This is a, a little machine that allows you to... Oh, ah, was, there it I is. knew it was. It snuck away from me. Um, it allows you to give effects. Almost like, oh, when a band, a yes. rock band has... Yep. Well, uh, I wouldn't do a rock band, but... <laughs> no, no, no. Like a rock band has a different kind of... Like, remember Kiss? Yes. They could they could ratchet some sentence up or something like, whoa. They could. And this is almost similar to it. Is You got a little mic... You plug it in, and you you can be a one man band. This puts our computers to shame. This is, this is pretty. Well, I thought I, I seen it online. My friend was telling me about it, and I traded a, a woman f uh, for a carving for oh, this. Wow. So you got lucky. So did she. We both did. Yes, yeah. we did.
different. Yeah, it amplifies it. Yes. Makes it almost sound. I don't. I can't describe it. Electronic. It, it gives you. You, you, know, you ever been in a cave? I don't How know. about a church? Oh well, yeah. You know, when you're in a church, it, you know, the acoustics in a church, it just reverberates throughout the whole thing because yeah. it's so hollow. And when I seen this, I said, "Wow, I can." It runs on batteries. Mm -hmm. Batteries last for eight, nine months, depending on how much you use it. Yeah. But I can walk everywhere, yeah. and and, have that, and have that with me. I would think this would be great. You know, when you, I don't know if you did. You have children at all? I have a daughter. How old is your daughter? My daughter is, she'll be 14 on the 21st oh. of uh, July. You have a little one. Yes, I did. I oh, do. Okay, I have uh, a 23. Don't tell her she's little. No. <laughs> well, I would think that this music, I would have loved to have had wow, this when my son was little, to get him to go to sleep. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yes. it's perfect. Yep. I, I mean, I, I can picture stuff happening. Well, as I'm walking along, are you going to be at the powwow this this July? I'm going to try to get over there. Yes, yeah, I, 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 it depends. I, I'm playing at a church in Worcester uh, on the 12th, and then uh, I have uh, another performance coming up. Um, uh, let's see, I think it was the 27th or 28th. So little by little, everybody calls. Yeah. You know, say hey, we want to, or I get emails saying hey, would you, can you play? We heard you on the radio, or we heard you on television. We seen your interview, right. and would you be interested in coming to our school? So I, I do. I'm always doing something. Yeah, I think I'm actually a bookstore too. I, oh, I'd love to have that in the background. I played at the Book Lovers Gourmet. You did. In, I know the Webster. Very well. Yeah. Yes. They're very I, good. How about Tad? They're very open-minded. Uh, I have. Uh, I can't remember her name, but I was trying to get a hold of her at, at, in Westboro. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. That's my my next stop, hopefully. Oh, good, because they have an open mic cafe. Is that what you're going to do? Yes. I was thinking yes. even during the day when people stop in to shop. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I'm open to to try anything. Mention that. So it'd be well, a lot. Let me know because I mean I mean I'll, I can spend hours looking at books. And with that in the background, I'm a goner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dad said, I'm dead. Just put me in this store. Strong Eagle, well, thank you so much for being on here. We're going to have you back on. I mean, it's too short a time. We have to have you back on. Oh. And again, how can people reach you if they want to book you? Again, my email address is strongeagle, the number three, at yahoo.com. And uh, you're very open to what they might like to have you come. Even yes. a wedding. Girls, I've, a your wedding. I played at uh, Art Simus's wedding. Art did not tell me. We just had Art on. He did not tell yeah. me that. Yeah. That's yeah. a perfect walk down the aisle. Um, I played in the balcony. Yeah. And then when they exchanged their vows. They and, walked down uh, the aisle. That's what they, I, oh, Yeah, I didn't walk. No, down. no, I didn't think no. you would. But you were up in the balcony and they walked I was down. In, I was up in the balcony and uh, I played uh, a, a special flute. Hmm. And it has four chambers. Oh, my gosh. And one side harmonizes with the other one. So it sounds like you have two people playing. Oh, what a treat that was. So, oh, that's really, uh, that, I haven't heard of that one. So I called it the one of, I do have it. Yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, I, the Scottish bagpipe in the background gets me too. The flutes and the bagpipe, there's something about them. Yeah. I hear a bagpipe in a parade and I want to head for the front of that parade. It's, yes. It does, it, maybe it's my heritage, I don't know what it is, but my, uh, my son's father is Blackfoot Indian and uh, he didn't care about the powwows. I'm the one who, let's go, come on, it's fun. Uh, yeah. It's all in the heart. Yeah, he didn't, he wasn't connecting with it and yet he had it in his blood and I, I loved it. I still do. I could sit there for hours and listen to the beat of the drum. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming You're welcome. on. Thank you for having we'll me. We'll see you next time I'll be my guest. Run, river, run, run through the hills, run, river, run to the sea. Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun, run, river.